Hello and welcome to the video back end and to in and the connection to the front end. And even though the, the, the title is quite abstract, it's not clear. What we're going to do today is to communicate the inference scanner processing, uh, one of the process uh, that we have to the front end. Uh, therefore, displaying the result from the Esper system backbone to uh, the QGI. This will be approached by using sentence and slots. So, do you remember that we put a uh, MC now to the, in the forward chaining? And to emit a signal, inference kernel needs to be a Q object, and this is uh, it's accomplished by putting a Q object micro inside the inference kernel class definition. The The following step we will show how the inference scanner communicates with the QDI. Uh, <laughs> first, connect the inference kernel display conclusion signal to the slot and conclusion display. Uh, display conclusion. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, okay, we were talking that display conclusion is emitted when the inference kernel detects that we reach a conclusion. And if you remember, in terms of the inference kernel conclusion, is a consequence that is not an antecedent of any other rule. Uh, so it's one of the ends of the path we might have a lot of conclusion. And something that is really important is that signals can carry information as arguments to pass uh, to pass them to the slot to any other component. And in this case, a list of, of, of conclusions. So the first thing that we're going to do is to connect a signal that is the inference kernel. You can see the parameter is a Q, uh, Q leads uh, composed by integers. We're going to connect with a slot that we haven't defined it yet. Mm. And the slot is on conclusion displayed. Okay, if you remember, we have the trigger in the inference. Um, we have the what trigger in the inference process in the X button. If you go to to view this project, uh, well, whatever in the X button, we trigger the back chaining algorithm, and back chaining is. Uh, taking all the knowledge base and inferring the, all the knowledge base. So the next, uh, the next thing is the on conclusion display will be uh, will stop the inference process. If we click and we put, if we click this button, we're just going to throw uh, those messages that it, it means that the back chaining and the inference process is uh, already running. So the problem here is that we are inferring, but we are not stopping. Maybe we are uh, reaching a few conclusions, but we are not doing anything. So the thing that we need to do is to catch the conclusion and start working with them. Okay, let's move to the implementation. And 
we're going to get every conclusion per cycle of the inference. Uh, per cycle, we can get more than one conclusion. So that's the reason that it's a queue list. Uh, therefore, we need to have a way to save all the conclusion as a strings. Uh, now we're going to give a format to the conclusions uh, converting the string already to be displayed in the user. And unfortunately, uh, we need to remove all the underscores that we have in the knowledge base and replace them with the uh, white spaces. And something that we need to do for that, that's something that we need to do for all the conclusions. To do this, we, I would like to create a temporal queue string list and say the format conclusion. Mm. As, as I say for each conclusion, conclusion. Those sentences are just to get the string of the sentence of the rule. And as I say, we're going to replace the underscores with white spaces. That's it for this. This for each. I need. We also need to. Append the converted string. That's it. Then the first step is to save uh, those strings to the and display into the queue list widget. So we already saved them in the <coughs> conclusion string. So the next step is to present them. So the next step is to create a queue message box to handle when we reach a conclusion. And this message box has a lifespan of the function. When the function L uh, ends, uh, the message box uh, disappear. And in this message, we're going to add all the conclusion to show it to the user.
Okay, then if the user clicks uh, continue, we're going to keep inferring, but if it says that the conclusion uh, shows uh, possible results, then if uh, it can stop the inference. It's also a good idea to set the current widget to conclusion to show the view. So we need to create the infinite loop. Uh, the next, uh, we need to click here. So next step is to test the new, this new feature and supposedly uh, different measures box will be presented and if we press stop inference it will show at least uh, the conclusion that it reached in the QList widget. Hope it works. No stopping. <laughs> well, let me check the book. Let's see if it works. I just need to review the inference engine. Uh, here we have um, this is a new message box, and if you press stop inference. This is the the conclusion, the Q list widget, and it might have a lot of items here. But in this one, we only have one. So that's it for for the video. Um, check our website, give text, uh, our social media. Uh, see you soon.